Can you hear me? Absolutely. Yes, we, we uh, can hear clear. you, but yeah, I can't yeah. see you. No? Oh, I no. can. I can see I you. Can. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah, you are. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Hi. Hi, Ben. <laughs> really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And yes, nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, inviting me. Well, thanks for coming and thanks for being with us tonight because, um, you know, the, the, the poetry film competition was a big part of the festival and we're very, very happy to have you on. Uh, <laughs> what time is it in Shanghai? You were in Shanghai, I believe? Well, exactly. I mean, as you know, Tanya is in Kiev and Ukraine and I'm in, uh, it's eight o'clock in Shanghai. And actually, strangely enough, Pat, I am shooting some scenes from a poetry film of my own tomorrow here in uh, in, in Shanghai. So uh, it's kind of interesting to be talking to you tonight and then going off to do something um, tomorrow, you know? Yeah. Mm. Can mm. we see it later on the internet? Oh, or? absolutely. I would love you to see it. I would um, offer it uh, nervously to you for inspection. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Let's stay in contact. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh no, we 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 will, we will, we will definitely. Yeah. So, Tani, do you want to say something in introduction or? Oh, I, I would love to. For first of all, I'm overexcited, but I must say I'm very new to Zoom interviews. But I must say that it's still possible to keep the chemistry and to keep the atmosphere. So, Pat, thank you so much for having agreed to be with us. And first of all, I guess congratulations, because we we had a chance to say to you it by email, but now it's a a chance to say personally to you that we were. I mean, honestly, the aftertaste is still with us. We're still talking about Construyo Marcazinho. We're still savoring the scenes and uh, we're still uh, intrigued by many moments. And I think this is one of those amazing films or even one where no matter how many times you watch it, you always find something new and beautiful. So first of all, huge gratitude for your art and for your soul and for and congratulations. Uh, yeah. on on winning the best film but also for uh, you organizing it for me it's uh, it was very nice and also i mean you do a lot of work and and you never have contact so i i love this conversation also very much because i have a lot of friends but they are not um, also not interested in in in, in a poetry film so to speak with poetry film lovers it's for me it's a big honor and and i'm happy so stay in contact it would be nice well, yes. you know, Pat, when we started this, um, we, we're completely new to the field. And I remember saying to Tanya in the early days, look, Tanya, we've got to get at least 20 entries. And of course, we had 81 entries from all around the world, which was thrilling. But, you know, one of the thrills, I think, for us personally is like in the case of your film, but after I saw that the first time, <laughs> the first thing I did, of course, was to go on the Internet and search on uh, on the internet and on Vimeo, you know, Pat von Bockel, and see what I could find. And then, of course, we started to discover some of your other work. And th this is what occurs to me, is that if you're, how else would you discover the work of a videographer such as yourself? You know, unless you're Dutch, and possibly, you know, you, you hear on the grapevine. But if you're in a different country, it's actually very difficult to access because it's not like, um, you know, Hollywood release. So you've got to go and actually have some idea of where to find these things. No, no, no. So, so actually, I'm just into it. So uh, you are the first festival that I subscribed because I didn't, wow. know, I didn't know it was existing. So I was just on my own, loved the, the idea of making it. And I explain later why I, how I came to it. But so to find that there is a, it's an audience and um, it was for me a surprise and somebody started in the Netherlands. So by her, Hemi, she, she also, Hemi style, she also, uh, put in a proposal so I started to look on the internet and sometimes well of course it's you don't earn any money with video poems and then you have to find out which festival is worth paying or or who's who is really looking to it so that takes a long time so that's but because of you and now I have 750 euros to spend all my money to to <laughs> do the entries <laughs> exactly uh, but I mean, how did you? I mean, was this originally made for the Museo de Guada as a commission piece? No, the, the artwork was a commission piece. 
How the do you house, mean the, uh, the house with the threads? The, with the, oh. that was, uh, so Peter and I was invited by uh, the museum to uh, make an artwork for an exhibition. And to the exhibition, there was a poetry festival connected. We didn't knew that at the time, but I usually make uh, sculptures also. And my, my partner is a sculpture maker, so we do a lot of sculpturing. And Peter, who is the, the, the actor and my good friend, uh, he has a studio uh, near this place uh, in Guarda. Oh. So he knew about the project. So he said, well, let's make something together. And then he came up with the idea because it's the background of this place is the wool uh, wool factory. So this was all collapsed uh, when the wool went to India uh, a long time ago. And so you have this amazing, nice buildings next to the river, uh, completely empty. And so we thought we we, we will we should make something in honor of the people who live there and uh, to honor them to make a house of wool, but with, with threads. Uh, so that was the idea. And then... Um, we tried to find wool, but the wool is sticking together. So we had a kind of polyester to make it nicely. So it's about six kilometers of, of polyester uh, th thread. And so, and, but then we, I always make a poetry uh, video out of, uh, with a poem from the country where we are. So uh, of yes. course, uh, Pessoa is the most famous and I'm, I'm, I'm connected with him a long time. So it was very obvious that I took my book with poems. But, but, uh... Okay, I have to interrupt you there because Alexander's, sure. Alexander's search is one of the lesser known heteronyms yeah. of our friend Fernando. <laughs> so, I mean, how what, do you have an encyclopedic knowledge of Fernando Pessoa that could take you directly to the, How did that happen? <laughs> I think uh, I'll help from above, but uh, it was just in the book. So, we made this house, and then yes. uh, I, I was looking in the. So, it took about 10 days to make this house, and I was, every evening I was looking. So I was, and then suddenly this poem came, it was in English, translation in English. So I didn't, at that time, I didn't know it was him writing it in English. I thought it was translation. So, okay, but it fitted so well with our project. So uh, I said to Peter, well, let's, let's use this poem. And we have, diff we have some others because it was quite obvious. It was about a home. And sometimes you don't look for a home, but you look for something completely different to make the yes. connection. But this time it was so, it's such a beautiful poem. And then later I published it and somebody from America said, well, that's a really strange uh, uh, translation. I mean, the Portuguese is much better. I said, yeah. <laughs> that's the answer. But, uh, that's not the same as a native speaker. I didn't suspect, sorry if I had to interrupt you, I didn't suspect because I was mesmerized by cinematography and I was haunted by fabulous voice. So I didn't suspect very much, but then we started to search and found and, and and found Alexander Surge, yeah. and that's not exactly the same about about the the translation. Yeah, wow. so somebody from America wrote me and said, "Well, should I should I change the uh, the, 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 the Pessoa's own words <laughs> because he wrote it in English?" And uh, then he made this apologize and said, "No, okay, okay." Then, then, but maybe I should tell this story. Uh, but then it's you know, then you put information next to the story, and it's not so interesting the information. So that's how it came. And later, uh, so in this uh, exhibition, there was a poetry festival and we put in the poem in English with, uh, no, in, in Portuguese with somebody, a volunteer there, but his voice was not so good. And then suddenly this man, I forgot his name, I have to look it up. He, he, he was in the poetry presenting his poem and I said, this voice is amazing. So I asked him <laughs> and, then, and then he said, of course, of course. So in, in, next to the building where the house is, he said, well, uh, let's record. So I recorded. And then uh, it, it was it was already very good. And he said, "Well, you look you don't look so satisfied." I said, "Well, should should it be more expressive?" He said, "Can you do it?" Well, of course, sing. <laughs> so then this version came, and and that's 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 very powerful. That's that's what you. Oh, it, it's. I mean, I find the 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 Portuguese is hypnotic, yeah. uh, and you know the the num bosque. Yeah. You know the way he says bosque. Yeah. It's just so rich and and rounded. And it just, um, I, I felt myself transported by the actual Portuguese, you know, the, the Sala Comlus, the Palacio, all this is yeah. wonderful, absolutely marvelous language. And I, I felt the, just like you, that the Portuguese translation of that poem was actually significantly better than Pessoa's yeah. English. But, but I saw from Tanya's message that, in fact, Pessoa was only 19 when he wrote that poem. 
in England. Ah. She was only 19, 19 years old, so it's not surprising, you know, it's a little bit sort of adolescent y and a bit stuck on the on the rhyme scheme, you know. Yeah. Yes, I shared that wonderful archive document you Pat sent me, and I couldn't read very much a word, but the handwriting and the the date there it made so strong connection to the past, and it's just amazing that you had this. Was it in the library that you got that that oh, no, piece no, 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 from your notebook? It, it, somebody sent it me after the boom poem. He was impressed by the the video poem, and he sent it me and said, "Did, did you know this? Or did you know this?" And I'm, I'm sorry, I just was reading the book. So I, I learned more after this, and so the handwriting, and no, everything came later. So I just had a book, the poem, and this beautiful voice, and even without translation, the voice is, is like music. So everything was connected, and then uh, more and more people started reacting uh, from different, uh, like friends also. So that's how it's, but that's nice how it, so some things don't come out of the logic. That, for example, I never, I never, um, or for me, it's very difficult when I have a poem to make a video. It, uh, so, because then you're struck, you, 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 I always use, make something and then I'm looking for a poem. So it becomes okay. more poetic because otherwise you, you think, well, okay, he used the word duck. So where do I find a duck? And, and yeah. <laughs> that, that never works for me. I mean, then, then it very becomes... Interesting. Yeah, so it's amazing. So you start yeah. with an image. It means you start yeah. with an image, and then comes the word. Yeah. And... Yeah. Always. And so I and, and I tried. So I now I put in. I did for a contest. I did it the other way around, but I don't think it's so good. So I, then, then you then you cannot you cannot forget the images that are presented, and you stuck to these images, and then it got lost because then you then you are not a poet anymore in video. Then you become an illustrator. Yeah. That's very interesting distinction you make, actually. And, and I mean, it's very much my experience. I've watched that, your, your film, um, many, many times. <laughs> and um, I love that moment of walking along the path with the little wild white flowers. Um, and it is ab absolutely image-driven. And it, it, it begins, actually, with your friend, the actor. Um, I love the moment where he's wearing, in inverted commas, the sheep on his back. And actually, when, when we first see it, you don't, I certainly didn't immediately realize that it was a sheep until he turned and it bleated. But, you know, you see him and he turns and he looks into the camera with a sort of, um, a sort of sense of resignation and weariness. And then he treads that path. It's very, very powerful. And I mean, then you have, the, almost the the English subtitles don't really matter. You just have that marvelous Portuguese voice in your ears, yeah. and if you have if you have enough Portuguese to follow it, you just follow this path, which is the path that we all follow. In fact, yeah, ex yeah exactly. <laughs> but it's also nice that so um, we had the house first of all. So I started making uh, filming this house from different angles, and then well, what is the what is the beauty of the house? And of course. So now we first found the building. The building was completely covered with with, uh, with all kinds of bushes. So we had to we had to clean the whole building first. Oh. And then we suddenly so, saw that the building was at two levels. So there's an upper part and a down part. So that fitted very well with our idea. So there is a kind of house upstairs where everybody's living, and there is a downstairs. There's a basement, or there's a grave, or there is a there's a, a second level of the house. And so we we made it, and then. Um, we i thought well i can film the house but it's not enough so and then i wanted to go into the house with the camera and then you come in the, in the house and then suddenly yeah there's nothing there so there should be something in so what should we go in and so then then we thought well the ladder we, so we made the ladder afterwards and then this was not enough so we said well they have some they have to somebody in because the house is not a house it's not an architect it's it's a it's a person it's it's a it's a spirit. So how do we get the spirit in? So then we said, well, uh, Peter, uh, let's see, let's try. Let's go down and uh, lay down. So he was laying there. Well, but with, with clothes, it's now it's like somebody shot or something. Naked, it becomes like a baby. It becomes like a grave. It has more meaning. So so he was he he went in there naked. 
And then we thought, well, this is too much death. We shouldn't have this, that he's, he's a dead person. Uh, so we, I made him a little movement. So you see he's sleeping. Or, or... It's a lovely movement with his arm. It's a yeah. lovely movement. So just... And it feels restful. Yeah. Yeah. And otherwise, you, you, it would be somebody who passed away there. So, But then we had this and we thought, well, for me, it's never... Uh, it's it's not interesting if you if there's somebody laying there down on in this grave if you don't know him, and to yes. make somebody known he has to look in your eyes. Yes. So then we filmed, so we, we thought about well how can we make this this guy looking straight like an introduction that he comes later he's laying there so, and the it was connected with the wool so it was then the sheep came and the image the Christian image that I had in mind already that the, and. So at the end of the day, we were very tired. And Peter said, no, no, I cannot do it. I, we have to go home. I said, Peter, come on, let's do it. Now we have the sheep here. <laughs> come on, let's try. <laughs> and he was really pissed off. So I said, no, okay. But that's why he's, his face is also very interesting, because he's really tired. So otherwise, he's a kind of happy uh, guy. And he's, his expression would be different. So everything is just by accident. Uh, and the only thing that I, I didn't like is that he was wearing his uh, blue jeans. That's, that's for me, but you do, probably don't see it, but I tried to get the blue jeans because I was hoping it, it, he would look like a sheep, sheep, sheep herder. Or, yeah, uh, shepherd, the shepherd, yeah. Uh, yeah. But the, the blue jeans is like, yeah, no, that is, it's not the, the shepherd. So, but, but anyway, so he, he put it on his, his one shot. And then after this one shot, he was really tired. So, but it was enough. So. And uh, but we we joke a lot about it that he didn't want to do it the first time and now he loves it of course. But oh, well, so the tiredness the, the of his it, it, face it, it, is, is beautiful. Yes, it, exactly. It's a lovely, a, a lovely moment. Yeah. May I make a little also in, uh, a little intrusion and and say, uh, Pat, that was exactly you were just saying exactly what I felt that uh, that this movement for the closing shot was so essential, like giving a continuity of life and that's exactly what you said that the person is not dead he's al alive and life goes on but i have here a little question about um the director of photography and i assume you are the director of photography as well right you are there behind the camera and uh, so the moment when uh, before we the before the moment with the ship it looks like you are an observer. The camera observes the landscapes and the water. And from the very moment you introduce the actor, Peter, we start to see his path, his way, and we like follow him and see everything through his eyes. So was it was it exactly what you were thinking at that moment, that from the moment of introducing his face and his look and his eyes, we start to follow him because before we didn't know whom the camera follows. It, 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 there is a landscape and waterfall and like establishing scenery in there. Yeah, yeah, that's well. I'm, 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 I'm actually. I make my my living as a documentary maker, so I made a lot of documentaries. So I'm, I'm, I'm skilled in, in, in in more or less what, how things work or I have a lot of experience. So the, the, the only the walking through the grass is beautiful, but it looks more aesthetic or it's not connected with somebody if you first see somebody. Yeah. I'm very intrigued by the French philosopher Levinas, who uh, he wrote that by contacting somebody looking straight in your, uh, in, into your eyes, you have contact in a deeper level. So. Most of my most of my my doc, documented films are always somebody looks you into the eyes because then you get connection. If you see somebody from a, uh, from the side, it's more or less uh, yeah you, you stay distance. So um, and so if you connect it that you have you have a feeling that you know somebody who's walking there is much uh, yeah it's much more personal than uh, abstract or aesthetic or a beautiful shot only. So that's yeah. how it how it how it um, how it came. So for me, this, this story is also a very personal story. It's 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 about yeah about soul, about life, about uh, how 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 do we survive? And so you need somebody. Uh, it's for me, it's always easier if you have somebody that connects. But for me, and for the other other way, it's, that's that's also very personal. For me, it does I I have not the skills to work from a script. 
Mm. Um, so I cannot make this script. So, okay, let's make this first and then uh, imagine that I have, a, I, I can have this house and I can have this path and I can have this guy. And then, then if I do this, I've tried it many times, but it doesn't, it doesn't open or it doesn't um, uh, give the quality or the, it opens the, for me, this, this subtle, subtle things. So then it's strict that you see like buff, buff, buff. You have many directors who can do this very nicely, but for me, it doesn't work. So I work more from intuitive uh, and then also later seeing things and then make connections. Yeah. So, yeah. I, 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 I was just mesmerized by, by your story. I could yeah, listen to you forever because it's, like, <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, and uh, I mean, yeah, and uh, this uh, you say you 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 love to explore in your work the the connection between the human being and the, the and nature. Where are you particularly thinking about spacious metaphors and using the verticals and broad landscape, and then shrinking everything closer and closer and closer to get us more close to his soil, soul and soil too. Yeah. No, that that works intuitively. It's it's not uh, it's not a concept. It's more that that, of course, you know things that what what work and what not working. But for me, it's the it's it's um, it's this yeah, the, the 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 image. Yeah, you must have also luck. This this this, this whole combination with this poet, this, this man making the poetry, but the and and the image and the artwork. So, uh, but it all uh, is more intuitive. So you're in the process. You keep open for what you what comes up, and and and. Um... Uh, I mean, Pat, the the, um, the lamb. Uh, I mean, it seemed to me to be an explicitly Christian image. Um, you know, it conveys that you know the sense of you know unusty, the lamb of God, and and sacrifice, and also the the. The sheep on the shoulders of the good shepherd are the souls that will be going to the afterlife. But I mean, w w were you was that intuitive as well, or, or did yeah. you deliberately? Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's what I love about about making this is that uh, that it's so open that you get this reaction from you that that it's completely not. It's it's. I, I start also afterwards. I say, it, do, did I do this? I mean, the, all this <laughs> people say this like this. I didn't. I think I knew this image. Of, I know the image of the lamb. I have seen something a lamb on on the shoulder, but it's not at that moment. I think well, there has to be a Christian symbol in there. It's more no, if no, you no. are if you are Islamic and you don't know the symbol, it's it's completely okay, and you will see something else. But I'm sure that then somebody from Papua New Guinea sees something completely different, and I would be happy to hear his. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If if the yeah. story would be like, like one story, then it's not then then it's not a poem. If, if uh, yeah, if, absolutely, and I mean even in our interpretations, I think you and Tanya see more life and continuation at the end than I do. For me, that guy down there in the pit is absolutely going to die. And you know he's going to die in a very peaceful place. Uh, he's you know you know then build me a grave you know or make me a grave you know. Uh, for me that's that, that I, I, I mean that, that's just how that's just me bringing my my lived experience to the thing you know. So but honestly it's just a marvelous as Katani was saying this marvelous combination of very evocative images which of course have different you know meanings for different viewers yeah. But yeah. you you're saying. You're a documentary maker, so is, is is that your profession? Is that how you earn your crust, yeah. as we say? Yeah. Okay. And do you, do you get? Um, I mean, looking at your website, you seem to to travel all over the show. You know, you you go to Turkey, you go to Pakistan, you go to all sorts of places. I mean, do you get commissions to go to all these different places, or how how does it work? A lot of lot of different things, but. Uh... So my 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 partner is a, a sculptor also makes sculptures uh, in other countries. So I love we love to travel together and assist each other. And mo a lot of times I try to make a connection with Dutch television. Can I make a documentary? Because art oh. is not so paid well. Also for sculptures, not so. Um, yeah. So in a, in a way we 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 love to travel to see the world and and make combinations. 
and so sometimes it's 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 a it's a it's a commission or it's an idea or uh, my partner is, is invited and I go as assistant. But also we travel like I was now two months in Morocco. We just had a project there and then we stay for two months longer because we are free uh, to do so. And then I make a lot of I collect a lot of images that in the winter time I can be uh, making uh, video poems from. So it, wow. it, it extends my, 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 it's also in this way, it's strange. So in Morocco, you, you film things and you know, it's a very strong image, but you don't know how, how to convey this or how to, how to use it. And, and then it stays on the shelf. So that's so, that's exactly what we, we interviewed or rather Tanya interviewed the other day, Kim McDaniel, who won the other first prize in the other section. And she was saying that, yeah, that, that the, the footage that she used had been on her shelf for six years, you know, waiting for the moment to be used. So yeah. it's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess you do the same. Yeah, well, it started for me, for example, I was in, in Japan and, and then you have a subject for the television, but you see a beautiful temple that was, was completely empty and, 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 and falling apart, and you say, yeah, but it doesn't fit in my in my documentary. But it's too beautiful to not film it. So then I start <laughs> filming it, and then so I have a lot of times I see a very poetic thing that doesn't fit in my documentary, but I love to film it and see what comes up later and how to make the connection. So I connected this this part with a with a, a Polish uh, poet uh, Sabrinska, the woman who uh, what's her name, but. So it's a Polish poem about an empty house, and I, I saw it yesterday. I saw it back yeah. yesterday. I yes, and I, I understand Polish, and that was uh, you. And I wanted to say, pardon, you had an amazing ability to find voices, voices, uh, and it's like it's the the voiceover is amazing there. Yeah, well, there they, there first try also to find the 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 poets themselves. If I can find the who read the poem. Uh, on internet in their own language. So from, uh, what's his name? Well, for many poets, and because if I do it myself in English, it is, it's worse. So I try to find an English uh, native speaker, but um, so that's, yeah. So I'm very happy if I find a good voice. Uh, that's also how you decide, well, you can have a, have a good poem, but if, there is, if, if the voice is, is bad or it's very bad recorded, I cannot use it. So it's all subtle things. So. In this time, I for this this uh, this uh, Sabrinska, what is her name? You remember? I think it's Agnieszka. Agnieszka, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyway, so yeah. I found this poem, so that she's reading it out, um, and another poem from Brodsky. From Brodsky, his voice is also so nice. I mean, and if you yeah. know him, so everybody immediately know it's his voice, and that helps a lot with the, with the poem. Also, it also limits you because if you use this, it, it gives direction. So, if you have a have a voice, then 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 you then you then you try to be inspired by the voice in your way of your editing, and also especially about the music. So I, I would love that I could compose music myself, but I can. And there's so much uh, good music, and most of the time I just uh, start with an artwork or or a piece like a, I filmed something very special. Then I try to find a poem, and then I try to find the music, and the music dictates the editing, because it's. I always look for music that is a more uh, like a story music. It's not like a rhythm or something. It's always a kind of story, and this. So I keep this this line, the storyline, like it go, it goes further. Suddenly it goes very high. So I, I let I, I let I I guide myself by this this music then. Yeah, I, that, that, I, I, yeah I, I wondered about that, you know, how you find the music. We, we actually have a, a friend who was the president of the jury, Janet Lees, who is a well-known poetry filmmaker in the UK. She has an astonishing ability to find absolutely fabulous music of very different genres for each of her poetry films. Yeah. And I, I've never actually had the chance to ask her how she manages to do it i don't know really it's it's, yeah. it's 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 but it's kind of a key isn't it to find that yeah. music that that will fit with your images and with the with the poem yeah yeah so i've I, yes I, so i always listen to try to find music or i listen to 
if I see a movie and I say, and look to the sub the the titles, so who was this, and try to find new ones. And a uh, few people that I have friends of mine, I always give a very good bottle of wine if they can give me a new piece of music or say, well, you have to listen to this one because that's so important. And uh, and then and and if I use it, if I can use it or if I'm able to use it, then I will uh, then I will. Um, you give give the wine, but there's also a nice story. I don't know if you know Max Richter. He's became... yeah. I wanted yes. I, I've noticed that you have Johan Johansson. You have Max Richter, and I wanted to ask you: Do you use? Do you? Are, I mean, uh, license music, or this is reinterpretation and played by some of young. Uh, yeah, musicians no, no, so. so how does it work yeah because there are no well-known composers or maybe you also work with some emerging musicians i would no, love no, to they, hear that i would love to but so so it's it's the, the the video poetry is very expensive and um so i started once and, and then i wanted to pay for the for the music so i ended up with sony music and then suddenly it's a, they don't are not interested in your artwork at all so it's just about money and then it's very difficult in the old paperwork so he says oh so if I, for example, if I use work in my in my documentaries in Holland, the television corporation pays for it. And so my policy is that I would love to pay for the, the work if I uh, get any money out of it myself. So, but there is a nice story. So I hope if I could be famous, I could honor the the the, 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 the musicians you know, the, to 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 pay them also for the work. But it's most of the time you just share it, and 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 it it costs you only money. And but um, so but, but once I made it made a, a um, an installation in 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 um, in Scotland in Scotland and then it was a projection on a on a ceiling and, and somebody in in, a, in the audience was very impressed by it and then, then he wrote me when I was far away he said well you should use the music from Mark Richter I said are you kidding yeah I'm the producer of Mark Richter I said are you kidding. This is about the only movie I never, I didn't use Max Richter, but all the other movies is mostly <laughs> Max Richter. And, uh, and, and then I said, well, can we get in contact? And then I lost contact. But so I've, he, he, he offered me to use it, but I never, he became so famous now. Uh, this was like uh, 15 years ago, 10 years ago. He was not so famous, but now he's becoming more and more famous. But I would love to meet him, but I, he's, he's out of reach of, 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 of he, he's connected too much wow. so it's difficult to 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 yeah to ask him to make something especially for me but the problem is that the, those works are so good that to do it improvisation or to have somebody else it, it's 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 also i mean i would love to have somebody who feels what i need and and who would make it for me uh, but i don't know even have a clue how to tell him or ask him, can you make this? Can you do this or this? It's, it's just, I yes. listen and I like it, but it's not, I'm not a composer. And yes, I yes, say, yes. I like your work, please make something. But it's, it's, it's so personal and it's so, um, yeah. So yeah. a lot of times I've, I, 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 I don't like the music in video poems. It's too, too, too strong or it's too heavy or it's too, too much on front in, on, on the yeah. but but that's personal it's very personal somebody some people really like it yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, uh, but, but I get, really, pardon go ahead then no I, I, just, I get the impression that you only that you spend less than half your year in holland in the netherlands you know that you're you're always no yeah maybe i, I don't I, I don't count i don't count but uh, no no <laughs> No, actually, that was also funny that I, if ever could, if you could see outside, I live very, in the countryside in Holland. That's very difficult, but I live in a, in a house uh, very quiet for Dutch standards. And uh, I, I like it both. I like to travel and I like to be very silent, um, silent sitting in my studio and 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 um, how do you digest all the things I've seen in the world or uh, reading. So it's this this, and I think this is also in the poem of um, Pessoa. That it's 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 somebody uh, he's asking somebody please build me this and who is he asking is he asking God or is he asking the and I think it's like a, it's like a um, longing he's longing for this moments give me some peace uh, life is very difficult where it's it's, it's uh, takes me everywhere I want to have some place where I can I can rest and I can have, can have deep feelings or can. You can reflect on life. That's for me what the poet, uh, the poem says. And so he, 
you always have this 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 double bind or your double double feelings you want to, to see the world you want to meet the people and you want to have the silence to digest it yes yes, yes. that's this poem yes, yes. And it, and it was shown actually in Lisbon and uh, in Casa Fernanda Pessoa, which makes it so symbolic. I mean, like uh, the, the film travels around the world and uh, and lives an independent life, right? And then it and then it reaches the city of origin where the Pessoa yeah. was born, and it's truly special. And I think it's a nice moment actually to quote Chekhov because I Dan doesn't agree with me, but I for some reason your film evoked um, so many memories of me reading one of my favorite stories by Chekhov. It's called Gooseberries, and there is this line that a man doesn't need six feet of earth of farm he needs the whole globe all nature where he has the room to display all the qualities and peculiarities of his free spirit and i think it very much relates to what you are saying that it's important to have your idyllic nook like where you can rest and digest all the impressions which you collected from all over the world as well as your free spirit and uh, and here also I, I wanted to ask Pat if uh, do you always feel when the very moment when it's time to let the film go and let it travel to the audience I mean to let it out of the editing room uh, or I mean does it happen always so naturally to let to, to let the film go and let it live independent life and travel or you control what festivals you submit to but then you don't attend all festivals like unfortunately you didn't make it to Lisbon but how does it feel to know that the film lives its independent life on your own and evokes internal movies and memories like for example gooseberries for me <laughs> oh, no no that's, that's... That, that's the biggest honor you can get. I mean, it's, 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 um, that's, that's also uh, for me is very doubled. So the, the internet gives me a lot of, um, possibilities to meet other, uh, in, in, um, other, to see other work from people in home. And, in, and, in, uh, if you live in a countryside, it's very difficult. You cannot go always, always to the city. So I, I'm inspired by a lot of work on internet, and I so in in a way I give back my work also to internet for hoping that there are some people in a need or are are, are interested to see it. So, uh, but actually to see it in the theater is much stronger. It's much it's, it's you are more into it. But uh, yeah, then you have to travel, and it's also um, not all the poetry work. If you are a lover of poetry uh, video it's not all things connect to you. So you have a lot of different, different ways and everybody has his own respect. But if you, if you are, if you are, if you have some, for me example, I'm very special in someone I really like, but most of them I don't like, but I have respect for them, but it's not my, my inner soul that, uh, that connecting. I'm so, just exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, it's like, uh, um, but so, I, I I love it to 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 hear that people like it and that that they can that I can use or I can use uh, music and poets to make something beautiful in in the world uh, and to spread it and uh, to share it. So I love to see as many people can see it, but um, I still want to keep it like very personal. So that uh, so not like focusing on I want to have a biggest audience then. And to keep it subtle in the very personal, and then to see that there are some people connected, and a lot of people don't, but that's no problem. I mean, it's it's this. I, I, I look. I think it, to, to me that's one of the. I'm a, like Tanya. We, we only re reasonably recently discovered this whole genre, which is having a moment. You know, there's new poetry festivals now every second week all around the world, and I mean, I think to me what's amazing about it is it's such a personal art form and i mean i'm like you pat i mean I, you know frankly the majority of poetry films they may be very good but they don't resonate with me uh i you know but then there's ones i stumble on like your one or the one by kim mcdaniel which i find absolutely thrilling and you can't you know if, if you were in hollywood tomorrow directing a film they're going to expect you to perform inside a certain format whereas the way you do it you have a you trust your instincts. You go with your intuition, and you know you start with images because that's what 
works for you, and then you find the poem, then you find I mean it's fabulous. It's so free as a as a as an expression. Yeah, but so also that for me, so the, the work itself is very beautiful and, and inspiring. So I learn a lot by working and, and discovering poems and so on. So it's different than just reading poem. But if you're making it, you, you're changing it and you change your life changed by a poem because you're 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 focusing more on the poem and more on the music and and so also but to answer the the other question is that I never feel secure if it's finished or not. Um, oh. and, and and it's it takes time and I, I, the best thing is to see it after five years that I forgot everything because I don't know if you do a lot of editing, but if you do editing, you know exactly okay, now this, now this, now this, now this. You are not have this free mind, or a good editor probably has, but uh, to to see it as a fresh, to, to yes. see it fresh from the first, because I know, okay, oh, this, kill your darlings, this was a very, uh, very heavy, uh, took me a lot of time to take this shot, so I keep it, I keep it in, but actually it should be out because it doesn't matter, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't convey anything. But... Absolutely. So exactly. for me exactly. to see it after five years, if I forget all this 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 hard work or the, the 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 and I don't even know what comes up, then it then it then I see it as you see it. Uh, yes. first yes. time. Yes. But for me yes. it's like I have seen many versions of this and, and, and so it's it takes some time to really see the quality. And yes. but but uh, Peter is a very good friend of mine, the good actor. He's he, he we have the same attitude. So if he likes it. I, I trust it. <laughs> the, only, the only disagreement you had about jeans. <laughs> yeah. That was the only disagreement. <laughs> no, he was too tired to change his jeans. I wanted to... <laughs> and I t I'll tell you what, that now that you mention it, I think about it, but I, it did not impact me in the moment at all. I think it made him look very homely and um, normal. So, you know, he was a normal man. He just happened to be wearing a sheep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, of course. But, but for, for my image, I thought it would be very necessary that it was a sheep herder, but it doesn't matter. It is not, it's, yeah. it's, it's maybe yeah. even better with the blue jeans, but that's where you, at the moment, I, you think in your. In your, in your in a, 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 obsession, obsession. Yeah, yeah. obsession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, this, is, this, is, this is an artist who's walking, it's not a shepherd. And, and, and <laughs> you, you know, Pat, I want to ask you a very um, practical question. I mean, when we were, when uh, Tanya interviewed Kim, um, and again tonight, you know, I remember when we were discussing uh, Tanya, myself, and Suresh, our colleague, when we were discussing the prize money, we sort of felt, oh, you know, our prize money is a bit pathetic in inverted commas. You know, like we could imagine already without having had the experience of making a poetry film, which I'm, I'm having now, but you know, how much um, skill, experience and expenditure, you know, getting to the location, having an actor there, getting a guy to voice the poem, um, you know, the days you spent cleaning up the house, the days you spent making the the, the kind of wool polyester white thread structure. I mean, the the the, the expenditure is enormous, and we sort of felt, well, I certainly did, that our prize money was kind of pathetic. But it's actually hugely encouraging to us uh, to hear people like you say that actually it is significant. You know that it matters. That it's nice to have some kind of monetary return on all that effort. Yeah, but it's now. Yeah, well, actually, it's that's. Um, so I think it's, a, it's more honor. So if I, if, if there was no prize money, but I, I know the people you take still... it very serious, then I, I would also, it's, it's, it's more the yes. other way around that there are a lot of festivals that you think, well, are they really projecting it? Are they really interested in poems and, or are they yeah. doing this as a gig? And, oh, you, you're, you're, that's more difficult to find out. And, yes. um, but I think also for young filmmakers uh, who, ha who must have to make a living, it's more difficult. For me, I, it's, 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 for me, it's really art. And uh, I always think about poets who make poetry. I mean, that's here you get at least 750, for example, but be a, to be a poet, I honor them so much because they do a lot of work and, and they never get one, one penny out of it. Yeah, so I know. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it, that's very difficult, but I, but I would like to encourage people to make poetry and to make poetry films. So it's 
it's not the money is you have to you have to find you have to find your way in a different you have to find your money in another way and it, if you do it for the money or if you would say well is this worth 750 all the work um it's for me it's more that i hope that uh, like your reactions and i hope i can put it on the internet and maybe after 10 years somebody he he really likes it that feeling gives me a, a reason to make it not uh because if you are depending on it on the money then also you will you will you'll be make more you will make it differently yes you're not so independent you know some people are very in can do it but for me it would be i would be immediately focusing oh if if i can get this money i do it this way i would go towards this one so it's always you make it and then you put it to the world and you see what the reactions are I absolutely agree, agree and feel feel it because uh, I'm a stage director, an emerging stage director, and we started our company in Lisbon with uh, uh, just with enthusiasm, with, with instincts, and with desire to do. And uh, what I realized that the play is never it's never about you, and I've never thought about that. It's beyond you, and like theater company that we own, it's beyond us. It's all about those people who work with us, who create, and who are on stage and who share stories and uh, if when we're happy we can assist and give them voice and a little platform to to, to display and open up their souls to the to the uh, viewers it, it's great and uh, i can tell you something also personal that you say that to you it's so important that people will see and will feel and will feel connection but I tell you why I go to the movies. Of course, for the the movies, the poetry film is, uh, and uh, what what is great is the internal movie that is unfolding within you together with the screen story. So I think that I watch poetry films also for internal movies. It evokes within me. So, and it becomes like a whole avalanche of memories, flashbacks and flash forwards unfolding together with the screen story. And you make connections, you make allusions. And of course, you appreciate the cinematography and the story in the film, but you're living all together because in theater, it's still you. It's still a dialogue between people in the same room. But what is great about film that it's sort of very, it becomes very intimate and very personal and uh, I, I and I love the fact that you can put the film on replay and play it yeah. again, again and again and again and um, and every t at, at different moments of your life and maybe like after five years you remember oh there was built me a cottage and I wanted to see this scene for the feeling it gave me back then. No, completely true. But but to to make a no to, to, for for a theater and and like modern dance. There's something else that makes it very special that you see the actors sweating in front of you. <laughs> and that's so much important. And, and, and so I, I admire that so much uh, that, that the re registration of a theater play or a modern dance is, is, is a lot less. You can repeat it and repeat it, but you have to be in the audience. The best is to, 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 to smell the sweat. And then yeah. you say, well, why are these people doing this for me? Uh, just honoring them, wow. Wow, how can it can I be in this life that somebody is doing all this preparation, all this 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 this, this work and, and even with the body do it every evening in another city? Uh, I respect that so much. So that, that's another level that 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 is, is nice about theater. So every every artwork, every art art um, has its own power. And um, for me only that so so I I uh, because of the internet now you can see more things uh, that are more specialized uh, for for my feelings. So if you if you I say if you go to a festival you have to see a lot of things you don't like but you respect them. But you have to and and now you can choose more what you what what's connecting to you. So that's that make that's that's advantage of internet. There's a lot of disadvantage, but that's the advantage for. Uh, and so I made I made this. Uh, video poems and just recently I also presented them in in in, in sculpture uh, exhibitions and mm -hmm. it was amazing how this did it did uh, works I never thought about it so they will show five of my poems uh, one by one uh, in 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 a, in a small room and 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 it, it it struck me how how people uh, who are not 
never seen folk poetry film before, how they are struck by it, and it, yeah. and, and and how silent they look all the all the all the different works because it's it, it, it's 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 short enough and it's deep enough to to uh... yes yes absolutely so, I mean, Pat, Pat, Pat how, when did um, I'm going right back in time now but when, when and how did you first get into video how did that happen. Just going right back to your like teens, or uh, I know it exactly. I was I think I think sixteen years old, and I saw a, a film about Tarkovsky, the Russian filmmaker. That changed. Which my one life. was it? Which one was my? Which one was it? Uh, it was uh, uh, what was what, what is the uh, nostalgia? Nostalgia. Nostalgia. That that's one of my favorite films, to be honest, and that's his last film, his very last film. No, it was one sacrifice. It's out loud and late. Oh, pardon, one. sacrifice. Oh, yes, pardon, sacrifice. Yeah, with, with, uh, with and nostalgia is well, I live with Oleg Yankovsky. Yes, yeah. about an yeah, artist I remember, in Italy. I, remember, I even remember the, the scene that changed my life. And because I went to that, and I was astonished. I didn't know a clue what was going on. It is the, the of course, you could see. Have you seen uh, the, 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 the film? But, <laughs> I, but I was there and I was so impressed and I was just living in Amsterdam and then I thought my brother and his girlfriend, you have to come also. I, I was going again to see it and I was reading the reviews. To do, what is this film? And, and there is a one scene and there is a man walking with a candle in an in a empty swimming pool and he's tried to reach the other side and it takes about five minutes. And I remember so that, that scene that changed my life. But then I was sitting there and I was... For the third time seeing this, and I was still hoping. I, I knew he was going to reach the end, but I was still hoping that he would reach the other side without the flame going out. <laughs> but so I was. This for the third time, I was really. Is he going to? It looks like I forgot it. And then the, the the girlfriend of my brother, she was sitting next to me and said, she was looking for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> is, this, is this movie going to? How long is this movie going to last? So, and then I watched her and said, what? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. That's wonderful. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. And uh, so many times I watched the, this scene, but I always have this, like I watch it with a trembling heart because uh, it's so powerful. And I always think, okay, now the flame will go off. Now it will blow off. However, I know it's for certain. <laughs> <laughs> so it's amazing. Uh, I, I must say, Pat, that yesterday I was, you caused me insomnia because I couldn't stop watching Large Mosaic. I watched your poetry <laughs> film, Large Mosaic. And actually, now you said about Tarkovsky, and I, I, and for some reason, I felt some Tarkovsky's inspiration in Large Mosaic, even though it's about, um, it's about Spain and it's uh, Juan Manuel Gonzalo Zapatero's poetry but that wedding dress and uh, I don't know so it's it's uh, may I ask you please about your inspiration for for this quite new film because it appeared on Vimeo nine months ago yeah. so may yeah. I ask about large mosaic please yeah. yeah so I make also video installations and my partner so I had I was invited by a gallery in the middle of the mountains of, uh, of uh, Rioja and um, so they invited me and 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 they show can you uh, um, can you make uh, I always make the video uh, so I um, then the, um, then the, they presented me this 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 room yeah uh, with the with the how do you say this this is water um, tap water with the, yeah, the wash, washing place of the women and um, and uh, <laughs> A large mosaic is with the white dress, no? I forgot. Yes, 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 it okay. is. No, sorry, I forgot that. <laughs> but the day before we went, so I make installations in special places. So the day before I went, my uh, father-in-law came with a wedding dress of his of his wife by my um, wife's my, my my partner's mother, and he said, "Well, I don't want to throw it away. Can you do something with it, or maybe in your art?" I said, "Well, I don't know." So I took this dress uh, to Spain, and I thought, well, I'm going to do some projection on this on this on this dress. I don't know what, but uh, would be uh, we'll see later. And then um, they, they offered me the place. It's a very unique place, um, and it's it's silent. It's the the women are washing there uh, in the old times, and uh, so I had all idea of projection. And then I realized, well, 
seeing electronics in this place is not good. It, it, it's too beautiful to do by destroyed by electronic projection. Uh, mm -hmm. You can hide the projection if it's really dark, but it's this. If I make this place dark, it becomes a different place. So then I thought, well, it has to be just a dress, and 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 I made the dress. But I, I don't know if you see it in the movie, but the dress there's a a, a bowl of water under it, and the the, the white the handkerchief, hand, no, the the hand shoes, no, how do you say this? The the what you put on your hands. I Gloves, gloves, a, a glove, gloves. Glove. Glove. The white gloves are coming in and out of the water, and that's all. The, and and you hear the music. I think it's Max Richter. Exactly, uh, exactly. That's the, yes. I mean, so I, so, but then I thought, well, I, I have to, I have to. Uh, how do I make a video poem out of this one? And and so I I knew that everybody, the most of the time, that put so to say, everybody has a very good memory about the about the wedding. Maybe later it goes wrong, but the wedding is always kind of something nice. Or, so I thought all the women in this in this village where the uh, the gallery is must have these nice memories uh, about what 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 they have about this, uh, this this when they are young. So I thought, well, I have to get an old woman uh, who washing this dress because you never wash this dress; you keep it because you only wear it once. It's not a dress that you that you that you're gonna wash it now next way. So I thought it would be symbolic if you wash the wedding dress newly, so you want to have this memory again. So I, I found somebody. Uh, my my partner speaks Spanish, so we found somebody on the street and tried to to uh, exp explain her what was our our goal, and she was willing to act for us. And so so that's how it started. From how can you how how can you how strange is it to wash the wedding dress and and uh, in this place? And it's an honor to also the women. You see, you all the women were using this place in the old days to wash their uh, clothes and uh, the the laundry, and it was very cold always and very hard work. But the good thing is, was they were meeting each other always. They had songs and they had, and so now everybody has this washing machine, and they don't have the hard work, but they're missing the contact. So this is a kind of nostalgic. I always there's always this this conflict. How can you keep this? Why can we not keep this conversation? Is singing? Why is it destroyed by the new techniques? Yeah. But you don't want you don't want to you don't want to, to uh, have this cold. The uh, women have to do this hard work in the cold river water in the winter time. It's it's, it's terrible. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very hard. Amazing, beautiful. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. I was very mesmerized by that film, yeah. and thank you so much for these insights. And uh, it's truly very tactile film because you can feel. Uh, you can feel almost the water on your fingertips and and you have this amazing, amazing, I don't know, ability, talent to make the film so tactile that you can, uh, like in Build Me a Cottage, you, you can feel the fur of the sheep like it's on your shoulders. Every shot is filled with so much tactile feelings and you accentuate it with extreme close-ups or close-ups, but I think you have wonderful people and what you say that you always honor people and i think it's it's a, it's a wonderful way to honor the labor and the um, and people's stories and you always find strangers and then you make them friends i guess and make them feel so comfortable and i think this human presence you always have human presence in the film right you don't do abstract no. it's always human presence yeah, but also in this village, there's a, there's a gallery, modern art gallery, and and it's nice that I don't make this documentary in a simple way, so to attract all the people from the village. But all the people from the village now came to the exhibition <laughs> because it was connected with this woman, and they wanted to see it, and they they loved it. But it's not so. I, I I'm gonna make it like a propaganda. Let's make something for the village and, and work <laughs> because they don't understand. The, well, that's that's an interesting thing about video poem. The way I make it is is that it's really open for uh, everybody. It's not like um, it's not separating people so much by modern uh, modern art that I really like. But uh, so it's just that I'm lucky that I love this work and it's open for everybody. And but Pat, uh, just uh, I mean, last question for me is: I mean, what percentage? Because what I basically understood is that. You know, it's your documentary work which basically provides the funds for you to pursue your own interest. But I mean, what percentage of your kind of annual video production would poetry film represent? 
the append- <laughs> well, that's that's for example. Where the most the best idea is also for about editing is uh, in the morning when I wake up <laughs> and, and, and when I'm still in bed. The last thirty minutes when I said, well, now I have to go out. But that's where my inspiration is. So, do you count this time also? <laughs> it's this 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 level of uh, coming out of the dream time in the, in the that that I've. I'm mostly thinking about my editing or about something and then something something opens in my mind more poetic yeah it's kind of like, the quality time right the quality, quality time. time so yeah i think i think the 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 being an artist is like 100% you're always even if you if you do something else you're always open um especially when yeah. you have a camera with you in my car i have the camera in, in right in front if i see something i step i stop and i film it but um um and I, but I do a lot of things in combination. So it's, it's, um, yeah, I, I need less money, so to speak. So I, I am not more, I'm more free to not making documentary. So I, from about, I think now at least 20 years ago, I decided I only want to do, so, if I do something, I want to do it with the idea that is, I would do it also if, when I get, I don't get money. Do I say this right? So, so if the, if, if I say, well, this is, well, this is good money, let's do it. If that's the reason. Mm-hmm. I'm now old enough to say, well, uh, if you don't need it, just don't go for the money. Just go for what you feel like it's it's important or what what you like to do. Uh, but I mean, I'm very lucky. I I I I can I can do this. I mean, if you're young now and and you and you want to have a start a family, it's quite difficult. Or oh. like for example, the horrible situation in Ukraine. Uh, yeah. It's very yeah. luxurious that, and that's also so bad about a war. That there's no no space for these subtle subtle things to 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 open up or to just give yourself the time to say okay I don't have to work and let's let's just sink in and 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 let's stay in bed for a half an hour longer so I, something comes up <laughs> then then uh, get up because you have to make money yeah oh, my, I, English, I, my English is not so good but yeah. I hope it comes. Yeah, as I'm Ukrainian, you know, and I live here, so I've been, I've, I've, I was living in Portugal, but interestingly, since February, uh, 24th of February, federal 24th of February, I've been here with family, but that's actually how the theme of separation and belonging came along, because I re- honestly, I, I'm so addicted to memories and I mean I thought that I I have so rich I had such a rich life and I had this artistic experience of staging working with people how like like you said sharing the sweat all on stage and I know that even at my worst I could find comfort in my memories but then it happens when the war happened and you truly saw the missiles and explosions I realized that I I could go only with animalistic instincts, and it's I felt like separated from my memories, and and I thought that, but at the same time, that when once you're separated from th- something, you start to feel everything later yet stronger, and until you part from your loved ones, or you never know, you can love so much, you can hate so much, you can have so rich feelings. So on one hand, it tears people apart and that's the saddest thing for me that so many families are torn apart and but at the same time the the, the feeling of belonging is so strong and that's actually one of the reasons why I didn't make it to Portugal because I stay more connected with Lisbon and with the festival from Kiev because I know that I have family here I can maybe it's a it's a vague and funny and naive thing but i think as long as i'm here as long as we're together everything gonna work well so i'm really a believer that as long as you keep this that's why what what the theme in build me a cottage a house having this uh this uh, this place where you can really rest and settle and feel peace is is important and i'm still lucky one that i have my home dan was joking that every time i appear on zoom he looks if i have walls if i have windows yes i do (laughs) so but uh but like i mean we we are believers in art love and friendship Uh, really family love art friendship and we're just so grateful that Maybe someone will say that poetry film was less appropriate to do in the war times, but I think the opposite. I think poetry film is the most appropriate thing to do. It's the, it's the most oh, appropriate. Yeah. 
I really also I remember where you, where you tell this that um, Susanna Sontag, I think, or was it? But she went to Sarajevo to make a theater play in the in in the wartime in Sarajevo itself. You, but that was a very strong also. Uh, it's it's it's, it's it, it, re, it reminds me of your story. It's it's. I just mentioned uh, Ukraine, and it's, it's how many times, uh, how many how many time do you spend on 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 working on art? I see it as a privilege that I can do it so freely um, um, uh, because um, so I'm very lucky. It's 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 it's, it's not everybody uh, who has this has this possibility to be so lucky in this position. So I feel also as a responsibility to to take this luck to make good work and not mm. take it easy. That's that's the other side. Mm -hmm realizing what's going on in the world and, and having thing that a lot of people don't have this possibility. Let's do it good. Let's see. Thank you. Yes. And, and, and I must say people truly, uh, it's like you want to embrace life even stronger. And that's why all senses are so wide open that you, you, you there, and there is a desire, there is a desire to do things. Even here, the art uh, on one hand, it flourishes because people, but again, it's if we have, if we're talking about documentary art, it's difficult because sometimes you need certain time to pass to be able to process what has happened. And when you're right in the heart of it, you look for other stories, but you reprise them or uh, I had a, or you look at them from another angle, but I think our, our art is healing. I believe in it so mm -hmm. much, and um, and I am very, very grateful to to have known you and to have your beautiful film in Lisbon at Casa Pessoa, and to be talking to you now. And I hope we stay in touch. And um, and no, what are you working on now, by the way? If if you could unveil what, what's no. what's now on your road? <laughs> are you on the road? No, I'm, I'm I'm at home, but we I'm working now with my partner, also with two other artists, about a project that's called the White Flag. And mm. It's, it's um, that that uh, that's a, it's but the White Flag symbolizes that I that I don't know it anymore. I raise the flag. So many things are happening, and I need to pause uh, by not reacting rather than reacting. So it's um, yeah, it's, it has many levels, but it's like. Uh, um, what do we do with art in this time when you know Ukraine is going on, the the, the climate change is going on? Uh, can we just freely, but uh, or do we need something like a pause and say, well, we don't know? I, I was a very activist person all my life with all kinds of things to stop things to do, uh, and now I have the feeling maybe it's also my age, my age that that just say, well, I need a pause. I need to raise the right flag and say I don't know. We have to we have to pause. Let's let's stop. So we have the time to to uh, to think or to to see what what is really necessary or what is necessary for the remaining of my life to do in this difficult situation that I find I find the the, the world in a quite difficult situation on many levels. Oh, on every level, <laughs> on every level. But anyway, what's nice is even if you are working on a pause, you're going to work on it with your camera. So <laughs> <laughs> it's hard work. It's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Pat, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. And um, believe me, we will be doing everything we can to make sure that artists like yourself and the other winners uh in in our competition you know that the by word of mouth their fame increases and hopefully opportunities increase along with them so honestly um thank you so much for joining us tonight we are very very grateful and we look forward to the next one yeah no, thank you very much it's uh it's a, it's, it's it, it gives me a very really good feeling talking with you knowing that the organizers are so dedicated so thank you very much for uh giving me the podium Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank, you so much. Thank you so much for, for, for everything, for every word, every feeling, every every image, every shot, every word. And let's uh, keep in contact. Yes, keep in contact. Yes. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Pat. Have okay, a, have bye. A day and speak soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Speak very soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye.